my darlings. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Inchua, and if you're returning, welcome back. What's up? It's nice to have you here. Today, like you've seen from the title, I'm answering some questions that some of you were kind enough to ask when I put up the question tag. Thank you very much if you left a question. And the truth is, I have a love-hate relationship for question tags, because on one hand, I'm really excited to share a bit more of myself with you. Why am I sound like a celebrity, girl? Calm down. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited to share my perspective on stuff, give advice, based on my opinions all of those things but on the other hand i'm like rah this question is crazy <laughs> so it's a bit dicey but yeah the last time i uploaded a question tag video was like close to six months ago and i felt like there are a few new faces on the channel so it'll be a good time to you know do an updated question tag video so yeah you're welcome i really hope you enjoy it let me get my phone because this time around the questions were a lot today the goal is to go through as many questions as possible because someone said i mean the last time i filmed it someone said that i ignore questions blah 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 i'll go through every single question if there's a question i'm not comfortable answering i'll just let you know otherwise i'll get into it also also let's address the elephant in the room why am i just like this this yes is a leather leather jacket <laughs> i've had this thing it's not even a jacket it's like a, it's the button down shirt but yeah it's i've had it for a bit i've never gotten i've not gotten i've never worn it out so i'm like wow this thing is just sitting there collecting dust let me wear it for the video so that's that ended up wearing a bodysuit and black pants with it so that's what it's looking like here today but that being said i hope this thing is not loud because it really be rise if all you can hear is my, my shirts just making sounds in the video i try to be as still as possible so let's get into it first question is michael jackson so alive see see why i don't answer the questions this one says have you gone out of a relationship before and felt like breaking up with a person how did you go about it has it happened to me before how will i go about it if i ever you know get to a point in a relationship where i feel like i've grown out of it what do you mean by growing out of it first of all is it that you no longer love the person or you feel like you're at a certain level and the person is not on your level anymore what does that mean do you get if you still love the person and there's some work that can be done as in that growing out phase i'm trying not to move too much <laughs> maybe the jack maybe the this letter thing was a bad idea but if it can be reversed if there's something that you can do or your partner can do in order for that relationship to be salvaged then i would consider it but if it's gotten to a point where i feel like okay i'm a different person now the person that fell in love with this person or oof that feels so wrong but yeah the person that fell in love with this person is an entirely different person now and the other person is not evolving or just things are not working out then maybe it will be time to break up but i'll consider all the other things before i break up because you never know if it's just a phase or it's actually the real deal that's what i would say maybe reading all the questions is not a good idea because this one says when was the last time you went the bed i don't remember the worst pickup line you've ever had hmm i can't let me see I don't know if this is the worst but i feel like it should be retired and it is you look familiar hi hey do i know you, you look familiar it's because you don't know me let's stop playing you don't know me from anywhere <laughs> i feel like most people use it and then now you're there like because mm, you don't know what to say and then obviously you don't know them from any, from anywhere but yeah so if there's any pickup line i'm tired of hearing it is you look like someone i know hi do i know you from anywhere you look familiar please it's okay let's retire <laughs> next one are you busy this weekend this one says i'm here for you thank you very much boo how tall are you i always say i'm six feet tall because i'm 1.81 meters and that is almost six feet but if you're rounding it up i would be 5 11 but there's some there's some on top of it so yeah 
six feet tall. Sun <laughs> says, hi dear, can you please help me with the basics of starting a YouTube channel? Basics, basics. What do you what do you want to talk about or what do you want your channel to be about? What kind of videos or content do you plan on putting on your channel? Then from there, what do you have at your disposal? Do you have a separate camera outside your phone or you're planning to use your phone? I'm asking that because if you're using your phone or whatever camera it is you want to use, you may want to master that device and make the most out of it. It doesn't have to be a, like a professional camera. If it's your phone, make sure that you know how to make the most of it to give the highest quality you can get from that camera. What else? Pick up some basic editing. It may take a while to be fully confident or fully yourself on camera, so give it time. Put out more videos, as the more videos you put out, the better you get generally. And yeah, that's, that, should, that should get you started. If you're good with words, or copywriting it would really help because the title game your titles have to be really good to get people to click i'm still learning how to write really good titles but if you can get that right right from the get-go it would really help you on your youtube journey so yeah i feel like those are the basics you need to get started i just wanted to ask you how you go about breaking a bad habit Ooh, okay that's a good question okay you've obviously identified that this habit is bad for you great so yeah that's the very first thing obviously self-awareness then from there i'll try to identify the cues that make that or that make me practice that habit for example if a habit you're trying to break is drinking way too much alcohol right for example and the reason you indulge in that is because you're hanging out with your friends a lot more or you find that the only time you do that is when you're hanging out with your friend then you may want to start hanging out with them less not because you don't like them but because you're trying to take away that drinking habit do you get so what ha what's the habit and then what cues enable you to continue in that habit so once you find that triggers you can call it that you can remove those triggers or those cues so that nothing is pushing you to continue in those habits it would also help if you have something else to replace the habit i would also introduce something like a reward system where if i'm able to consistently take out that bad habit from my life in say a week or two weeks or three weeks whatever duration works for you you have a reward or something to look forward to and i feel like if the reward is attractive enough that is good incentive for you to keep at it and take out that habit completely so yeah i hope it helps okay this one says worst advice you ever got i'm sure i've gotten a lot of not so great advice <clears throat> and i can't necessarily rate them but i feel like one bad advice that we should stop giving but I feel like one bad advice you should stop giving or we shouldn't be taking all the time is be yourself. I understand there's a time and a place to be yourself. If you're on a date, yeah, sometimes it's nice to be yourself. Let the other person know what they're getting themselves into, stuff like that. Even with that. But that advice to always be yourself will not help. For example, if the typical you... Or you being yourself means you're cussing every second, you're very loud, you dress a certain way, right? And you're invited to a very formal setting. That, that requires that you dress a certain way, speak a certain way because of the caliber of people around. And you go there being yourself. So that means that you're probably inappropriately dressed and the way you speak to these people is kind of cringe that may go against you so i feel like yes there's a place and time to be yourself but in most cases you need to read the room read the environment find out your objective for whatever situation it is and move accordingly because being yourself may not always help you so that's what i would say okay this one says hi i'm recently entering into the influencing world and i'm currently receiving collaborations i'm so happy for you i want to know if they ask for payment on deliveries or someone is trying to forge you please help girl i, I can't assume it's a girl they are trying to forge you 99.9999% of the time nobody that's collaborating with you is asking you to pay to pay a delivery fee for the items no I've, I've never seen it. I don't know if it's happened if you're an influencer and you're watching this and it's something that has happened to you and these people were legit. Please let us know in the comment section but me from my experience they're trying to fraud you. Don't go ahead with it. The brands who want to work with you would actually cover everything. Probably not make you pay for the items. They would send the items to you for free and if you have to return it 
in some instances yes they'll cover that as well but in most instances you just get to keep it and share with your audience so no you're not paying for any delivery fee so don't don't fall for it i feel like it's a fraud but if i'm wrong and somebody can confirm in the comments then you can you know thread cautiously this one says i love love you love you too i love your poise age <laughs> elegance captivate oh girl why am i assuming these things are all from girls okay i love your poise elegance and captivating nature how do i become an it woman like you? wow you flatter me it woman first of all okay let me not be that person that doesn't accept compliments so thank you very much you're really sweet and as you can see i'm beaming and smiling <laughs> but yeah it woman i personally don't feel like i'm there yet i feel like i have a, a long way to go because the able man I have in my head, she's on another level. I'm not there yet. But also, I'm definitely not the person I was two, three years ago. So yeah, there has been some progress. So how do you become whatever an able man is for you? First of all, where does that able man to you? What kind of life does she have? What kind of things does she do? How does she speak? How does she carry herself? What does she wear? Who does she surround herself with? Once you know that, it's almost like if you're going somewhere, you don't know the destination, you any road can take you there but if you know where you're going it's like you have a destination in mind so you know that you're going in this direction in this direction alone so i feel like that's a good starting point once you've established that you would want to start with your mind most changes in life or most significant changes in life start with our mindset you can do all the physical things look good but if your mind has limiting beliefs if you have bad habits then it's just the outside that looks great but the inside is no substance if you have any habits that would not help you get to that point if you have any of those things <clears throat> i need water if you have any of those things sorry it is a good time to start working on those things then once you have your mind search right the other things will just fall into place if you have bad money habits you can easily fix that once your mind is fixed talking about money i make personal finance videos on this channel so you can check them out if you're interested but what i was going to say about money is that talking about money education also helps you in becoming an eight woman and i'm not saying like go back to school or stuff like that be informed about things that you're interested in or things that will help you so let's say financial literacy you cannot be an eight woman if you are not financial literate in my opinion so you have to know how to behave be good when it comes to etiquette and stuff like that and all those things involve learning relearning and learning so yeah i feel like that's a good starting point if you're trying to become this eight woman yeah if you want me to make an extended video i will but that's like a good summary of how to get started i hope it helps my boyfriend is shooting on me and it's hard for me to leave him what should i do love you by the way you motivate me thank you very much hon my boyfriend is cheating on you and it's hard for you to leave him why i'm not saying you should leave him i want to know why it's hard for you to leave him is it that he's your perfect man and the only thing wrong with him is cheating <laughs> Because someone, I've heard people say that. Or is it that you feel like he's the best you can get out there? Or the kind of person you're looking for isn't out there? Because if that's what you think, then you may want to rethink that. Because if you're with somebody that um, is doing something like that to you and you're not leaving, then why? Do you know, it's easy for me to assume that, okay, you feel like if you leave, then there's nothing really out there for you. And trust me, I know how it feels. I, I know how it feels. So, yeah, that's a valid feeling. But is that the truth? Is that a fact? That is something you have to answer for yourself. I can't answer that for you. And then the other thing is, in the grand scheme of things, are you okay with somebody who you cannot trust who would go outside your relationship to cheat on you whatever that looks like for you are you okay like doing life long term with this person if you're not okay then you're just delaying the inevitable <laughs> so you know where are you where do you stand and then from your message i feel like he doesn't even know that 
you know that he's cheating on you so maybe that's a good starting point i don't necessarily like confrontations i just like to remove myself from things but if a confrontation will help you then go ahead and do it but i cannot decide for you but these are some of the things you can consider thinking about if it was a husband and you know have memories with have built something with or have just been with over an extended period but is that in your best interest that's all I have to say on the topic. Moving on, please, what do you do apart from YouTube? So I have a nine to five job. I work in the health sector. No, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. I'm not a pharmacist. None of that. None of that. My work is data related and um, I kind of do statistics work in the health sector. So that's what I do aside my nine to five. Aside, I just randomly looked behind me and I saw that my candle went off for a bit. So I had to like, you know, go put it on number. How much does YouTube pay for videos? So YouTube doesn't have a specific amount they pay per video. The amount varies from video to video. But I can kind of give you an idea on, on how it works. So yeah, YouTube pays for views. So you get a certain amount to pay a thousand views. But that amount is influenced by your location. The location of your viewers. Because the money you get... Because the money you get from YouTube is from AdSense. And AdSense money is pretty much advertisers paying to put ads on your videos. Like maybe when you're back, when you clicked on this video, before it started, you watched an ad. And so I may get a tiny fee based on the ad you watched. But depending on what topic or what audience watches your videos, the fee advertisers pay may be very high or very low. So yeah, that's an entire system around it no two videos have the same fee no matter even if they are from the same creator on the same subject they don't they're not all the same the kids in my neighborhood are wild in today i hope you can't hear the noise but if you can i'm sorry next question how do i level up as a girl at the age of 25 how do i maintain confidence and generally live a productive life that's a packed question but the good news is i have videos on this topic i have a video on how to level up i have a video on how to build confidence i will put it in the description box because once upon a time i was a girl that lacked confidence see the thing that thing called confidence i was lacking not i wasn't a zero but it wasn't also like a good 90 or 100 so i had to work through it and become this confident person you're looking at today so i shared a bit of my story and how i was able to do it and then another video i shared the tricks that i used to let people believe that i was confident while i was working on my confidence i'll leave those in the description box if you want me to make an updated level up video i can definitely do that because as I said earlier, I'm still learning, I'm still growing, I'm still evolving so I can share the new stuff I've learned or things that I'm implementing that are helping me out. So if you need that, let me know in the comments and I'll come through for you. Now, on how to generally live a productive life. Productive will vary from every person. So somebody waking up at 5.30 in the morning may think that somebody waking up at 7 is lazy and they are not productive. But it may depend on your way of life, what you do, what does productive look like for you. So again... What does it look like for you and what goals or where are you trying to get to? And then use that to reverse it to current day and put up steps that will get you there. So if that means I have to wake up two hours earlier to study or read some materials, then that is what you have to do to get started. So what, what's your goal? What are you trying to get to? Use that. Let that help you. Let that guide you. Oh, this one is in all caps. Anytime I see something in all caps, I assume you are shouting at me. So why are you shouting at me? Where did you get your gym outfit from? How is your no punctuation? On this channel, we punctuate properly. This one says, where did you get your gym outfit from? Um, from I, you see, I'm struggling to read it because there's no full stop, no comma, nothing. Where did you get your gym outfit from? How has the weight loss journey been? Has the loss been massive or on and off? Okay, when I get my gym outfit from, I get them from a number of places. Some of the outfits I have are from Gymshark. I got them from Gymshark and they were brought down to me. I got some from the outlet Ghana. They are in the mall, so. And there are some really nice ones on Instagram as well. A long time ago, like when I was in uni, I used to thrift. I still do thrift um gym clothes from time to time there are a few nice ones in a car so you can just go go to a car check it out and yes that's, you could get some from there if you don't want to pay 400 cds plus for the ones on instagram or 
the ones at the outlet the weight loss journey has been great it has shown me that i need a lot of work in the discipline department i don't like this i don't like discipline when it comes to going to the gym lack of discipline comes in when it comes to eating and my choice of food so yeah that's something i'm working on but that aside it's been great i am genuinely um appreciating my body more and loving um my body taking care of my body a lot more and all of that the weight loss has not been massive because in the past i have done very crazy things to lose weight but this time i've decided to take a more practical approach and so the weight is coming off little by little there have been ups and downs like when i have a week where i add too much salt or too much sugar you can see like the like right now you can see my cheeks are puffy you can see the water retention because i've had like a wild two weeks and all of that but generally the weight loss has been great and i'm gonna keep at it oh this one says 11 years after shs i finally found a job that pays enough to continue any advice for me if you're not familiar with what shs is it is high school so yeah 11 years after it doesn't matter if you have if you can afford to go back to school and finish and get that degree that you've always wanted please do it it doesn't matter if you've been out of school 15 20 years it is still worth going back to school to get that degree that you want if you feel it's necessary so yeah my advice would be to go back to school if you want to if you can afford it and it will not be it doesn't it may even be a strain right now but if you if you feel like the reward what's just going on with these kids if you feel like the reward outweighs the strain it would put on your finances even right now right now please go ahead and do it it's definitely worth it so yeah that's my advice and all the best if you decide to go ahead and do it i'm actually proud of you for thinking of going back to school after 11 years not a lot of people can do that so power to you dream car <laughs> the sad thing about me is that i'm i'm not really into cars no hold on i like nice cars but i haven't sat down and looked at specs on this car i have not i've not done that i just know that i have brands i like you know brands that i feel like i'll look good riding in like i want a nice benz car like a, a nice benz and a good color not black not white like a good color or a very beautiful audi probably like the latest audi the latest benz or those are small cars i feel like i gravitate towards bigger cars so those are like i don't like cars that are close to the ground in a car if I was living in a country that has good roads, definitely. But in a car, I feel like the road will be messing with my car. <laughs> Benzies, Audis, and a car that I feel like I'll be comfortable riding in. Right? I feel like I'll look badass in is a Range Rover. The other day, I, I just randomly googled Range Rovers. And I think the first thing that popped up was a Velar. I, I don't know if that's how to pronounce it. V-E-L-E-R. Looks good imagine me stepping off that mm. gorgeous i don't have a dream car yet but those car brands yes please they're on my list why are you asking are you trying to get me a car anyway can you talk about wait are you trying to buy me a car is that why you're asking because <laughs> it's very random can you talk about youtube monetization not necessarily how much you earn but the process involved sure i can do that so you have to have 1000 subscribers to get monetized on youtube 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours in a span of 365 days yeah you can get the 1000 subscribers over two three years it doesn't matter but the 4000 watch hours has to be within one year now that they are short i think you have to have about a million i'm not sure you can check but i think you have to have about a million views on shorts to get monetized so that's that if once you have reached the threshold you've you know go, you've hit the criteria youtube will send you an email if you're in ghana africa anywhere you are you would have to have a bank account in a way for them to pay you so they'll send you an email take you through your process and then you're good to go you're good to make some money what advice would you give to your younger self hmm. um take advantage of opportunities you plan very well but try your best to do more and you figure it out as you go you're not perfect <laughs> oh that's hard to say you're not perfect you have flaws you make mistakes 
be open to accepting um corrections why am i getting emotional be open to accepting corrections and it would you would go far okay yeah that is it i probably have more but i don't know i'm getting emotional so we leave it at that hi Andrea, could you support a small channel like mine uh yeah sure you left <clears throat> you left your channel name so i will check it out and i'll probably leave a comment or two if that means anything to you favorite movie i do not have a favorite movie please talk about your youtube journey the fear stress anxiety etc and how to go on youtube i have a video on how i grew on youtube things i learned and stuff like that i'll leave in the description box so you can check that out i think from the beginning for me youtube has always been a passion not passion passion is such a strong word it's just been something i enjoy so it hasn't necessarily felt like a job or like i'm stressed about it anytime i'm stressed you notice that i don't upload a video or i take a break i don't upload videos so i take breaks but generally speaking i haven't had a lot of anxiety towards youtube maybe i had a little bit of anxiety when i was starting when i was trying to be comfortable in front of the camera and all of that but after that i don't think i've had any anxiety towards youtube so yeah my journey has been great i had a bell for spike and growth sometimes last year but everything is kind of steady now i don't know i'm looking forward to the next spike or not but yeah it's been great it's been rewarding i'm really happy that i can relate to people in and around ghana or wherever on this level and just share things i'm learning share parts of myself in this way so yeah it has been rewarding fears i don't have any fears around youtube i just take it one day at a time honestly just enjoying the process taking it one day at a time i don't know if i'll do this for an extended period but never know maybe one day i may wake up and i may be tired of it and then move on to something else so yeah one day at a time baby steps and that's that which church do you attend and how serious do you take your growth with christ so i'm currently attending international central gospel church um our lead our head pastor is pastor mensa otabo and I take my work with Christ very seriously. There was a time in my life where I was like, well, I'm a Christian. I wasn't, I'll just, you know, go to church, do that. But now I'm taking time out to study the word, pray, go to God with whatever it is that is bothering me from like my personal experience. And for the past two, three years, I've seen that even the tiniest of things that bother me or, you know, that bother me matter to God. So now I go to God with everything. I read my Bible more. I pray more. I fast um, more and I would say that I am actively pursuing God I'm actively pursuing a better relationship with God with each passing day and it's great it's 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 the warmth and the assurance that comes with it and just knowing that I am loved more than I can ever imagine is is amazing so yeah that's that's that are you traveling anywhere soon honestly fingers crossed I have plans and wishes but Fingers crossed. Are you still schooling? And if yes, what university? You know, I'm not currently in school. So, yeah. Maybe in the future, but currently, no. When it comes to personal or self-development, which areas would you handle first? That is the first three. I would... That's a good question. Hey, this set of Q&A questions are very serious. People are very serious. <laughs> okay, I'm still messing around. First three areas are handle when it comes to self development or personal development. Mindset. Mindset is very important. I keep saying mindset because everything could be working for you, but your mindset could leave you stagnant right there or could leave you underachieving. I would say your environment. Um, in as much as we try to not accept it, the truth is that your your environment, where you currently are, can affect who you become. I'm not saying leave wherever you are, but if you if you evaluate your life and you feel like your environment is not serving you or it's not working with you to achieve whatever purpose you think you have to achieve, then it's something you can consider working on. And then number three is habits. Yeah, I think in that order, habits. Your habits, your actions pretty much make you. So the tiny things you do every single day will determine what kind of person you become two, three, four, five years from now. So you want to take a look at your habits and, and honestly decide which ones are going to make you and which ones are going to break you if you let them stick around for long. 
I feel like that should get you started. Okay, this one says, hi girl, hope you're good. I'm good, how are you girl? Do you still feel the pain in your knee? <laughs> Because you used to complain about it whenever you go to the gym, but for some time now, it seems you don't anymore. I want to know if you seek help in the hospital like you said you would, or you just or you just stop hurting after consistently after exercising consistently. Thank you very much. You're actually very observant. That's really sweet. The pain in my knee it has drastically reduced. Did I take myself to the hospital? No. Not because it's just, it's just I should really do better with that i didn't take myself so i didn't go to a hospital even though i should but the pain is almost gone i think the only pain i feel is in my what hand is this my left knee but it has drastically reduced like i could easily climb up and down stairs i could do things at the gym and i feel like the things that contributed to that is the mobility exercises i used to do at the gym i'm stretching a lot more i started joining the yoga classes i don't I see yoga classes as mobility classes. I'm not interested in whatever um, religious, whatever is attached to it. I'm just going there to stretch and appreciate the body that God has given me. So yeah, I go for, I join the yoga classes, I stretch. And it's not just stretching, but they're like really nice compound moves that leave your body feeling really good. And I feel like those things have really helped with the pain in my knee because when i started doing that the pain drastically reduced and since you mentioned it i also started doing exercises i was avoiding like i was i would avoid deep squats because he used to kill my knees but i found that the more deep squats i did the more squatting exercises i did the stronger my knees got do you get so yeah my knees are better and these are the things that helped i would take this left knee <laughs> to the hospital and see if there is anything like inherently wrong with it but that aside these are the things i did and my knees are much better thank you very much for asking where do you draw your inspiration from with respect to going to the gym looking attractive among other things i think with respect to going to the gym and generally taking care of myself is because i have just one body and I know that I have a limited amount of time to live on earth. Well, I believe that I'm going to live out all my years to the glory of the Lord Jesus. Amen. And so I, I take care of myself. I go to the gym because I don't want to be 80, 90, 70 and be sick or bedridden or be helpless as a result of not taking good care of myself or doing things that put me in that position. I also don't want to be that that parent or that grandparent who is a burden to her children or her grandchildren because I couldn't say no to sugar or to alcohol or to something or I couldn't be committed to going to the gym and just taking good care of myself. I feel like that is unfair to my children and to my grandchildren if God blesses me with them. So yeah, that's why I take care of myself. I have just one body and I don't want to be selfish in that I don't want to just do things because I enjoy them now and not think about what life will look like in 30, 40, 50 years from now for me and for the people who love me. I also am willing to exhaust all the years my maker has given me. So yeah, I don't want to, you know, build up habits that would take or steal some of these years from me. I want to become a better me. Where do I start from? I think I've answered this question in multiple ways. So yeah, not a question. I just want to say I love, love your content. Thank you so much. And it's my prayer that you continue to increase in strength and in wisdom. Thank you and amen. Thank you so much. That is really sweet. I'm a tall girl just like you. Do you sometimes feel insecure about your height? Absolutely not. <laughs> Some time ago, someone sent me a DM around this. I added it to my content calendar and I was going to make a video about it but I kept postponing I think it's about time I made a video about being a tall girl and insecurity. There were times that I didn't want to stand out and when you're tall you almost always stand out but I feel like you should look within yourself a little bit more. Is it the height you're insecure about? What about the height? Why? Ask yourself good oh i think they're playing hide and seek yes <laughs> what about the heights keep asking yourself 
those questions and you may find out what the actual root is but if you think it is the height i'm going to make a video addressing it how do you deal with the loneliness that comes at times with staying alone ah there are two in one questions so let me answer the first one how do i deal with loneliness most of the time i sit i sit with it and it's not the best of things because if you are not careful it may spiral and it may just get really bad but i have like a limit so i will try to look for things to fill up that feeling if say it's lasting like an entire weekend because it may affect my mood and stuff like that so maybe i'll watch a movie play a game play a game yeah have phone games <laughs> have games on my phone go to the gym go outside cook you know just to take my mind off it that's how i help sometimes i'll just call my mom and we'll talk call my dad talk just wanted to say i love your vlogs a lot and have been following your follow journey from the beginning and my question is thank you first of all and my question is when you reduce your food portion did you experience binge eating and how did you curb your cravings girl i did i still do you know i didn't go like i didn't make it drastic i didn't go from eating five slices of yam for example <laughs> god have mercy upon us <laughs> to eating just one slice of yam right so i would say take it when you are reducing the portion do it slowly you don't just go from a big bowl of rice to two tablespoons of rice that one when it's time to binge <laughs> you said you'd be shocked i remove some things completely from your life like right now if i want to have biscuits i have to dress up go to a store buy some biscuits because i refuse to have these things in the fridge so i feel like removing some of the foods that are not helping could also be a good thing but you also want to replace them so if i usually crave chocolate and I feel like that's not good for me. Is there something that could replace it and satisfy that sweet, sweet craving that I have? You may fall back once or twice, right? But small, 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 we'll get there. <laughs> then this one says, do you offer home decor training? I don't. I'm working on something, but no, I at this point, I don't. If there's something you want to know with regards to home decor, you could let me, like, send me a DM. This is my Instagram. And we could take it from there, but... I don't have a structured I don't have a structured what well, I don't have a structured training as we speak in pure do you know how to send money from Ghana to a bank account in Nigeria like a platform that does such transactions I don't but I know that I have a I have um people from Nigeria that watch my vlogs or even Nigerians in Ghana so if you're watching this and you can help renew with this please please help it she wants to know if there's an app or a platform that would allow um, someone to send money from Ghana to a Nigerian account. So yeah, please help. How are you today? Oh, I'm I'm okay. I'm fine. I had um I had a bit of a lazy morning. Not lazy, but I didn't have the motivation to do anything. But thankfully, I was able to shake it off. And now, uh, here I am filming this video for you. So, thank you very much for asking. I'm fine. I'm happy. I'm in good health. Glory be to God. Where do you see yourself in five years? Successful, happy, thriving, walking in my purpose, and just being a sweet, sweet baby girl. <laughs> yeah. How do you make money, please? Hey, I work. I wake up in the morning and I go to work so that's how I make money <laughs> please I want to link up with you concerning investment um when you say link up what do you mean I always say that I give advice on this channel I'm not a certified finance expert so I would usually ask that you speak to an expert when it comes to making financial decisions right like calculated financial decisions yeah i don't want to mislead anybody when it comes to money because money very very touchy subject i don't want you to lose money because of me so let's speak to somebody who's an expert in it who has all those certifications and stuff like when i have a financial or a finance certification or maybe another degree then we can talk on that level yeah talking about money and advice i recently made a video on some things i'm no longer spending my money on for the next two or three quarters in the year you can check the video right here 
if you're trying to save more money just be better with your money generally you can check the video right here i'm guessing hot i'm gonna take off this leather jacket <laughs> and do something else in my evening i'll see you in this video Mwah.